are in the on, in the essence of leadership, in fact, which is um, propose new ideas, takes the lead, right? So initiate change, obviously. Um, so I would say before going to uh, make more explicit this anchor, I would like to remind the definition of leadership, which in fact applies to entrepreneurship, obviously. So the leadership is characterized by three things. Number one, propose new ideas. So, and here we find it in the anchor, uh, propose change, right? Initiate change. So this is the number one. Number two is influence others to uh, pursue that change or to join that uh, movement. And, uh, and here we have something like takes the lead, right? Which is obviously that uh, understanding of advocate for the change and then inspiring others to follow in the change. And then the third thing that we do not necessarily have here, but obviously we have to add for leadership is delivering on the promise. So if I uh, summarize these three characteristics of the leadership, we find them obviously in, in this anchor, which is takes new challenges. That means propose something new, explicit, make explicit a change. Second, influence others, inspire others to follow in that particular change, and finally deliver on the promise. So I would say to, to conclude, if you do, if one do, does follow these uh, three stages of leadership, then I'm absolutely sure that will demonstrate the entrepreneurship that is uh, in fact expected uh, from uh, across the organization, uh, whether let's say we are in a management position or not, whether we are in a HR or not, uh, which means that there is, that's why, in fact, we come, I come back with this uh, change in the wording, that's why we call entrepreneurship, which means that is expected from whoever, uh, each ever individual in the organization. Mm -hmm.